factorizing is the opposite of expanding. When we are asked to factorize something, we need to put it into brackets. Here are some examples. The first question is 5a plus 10. We need to put that into brackets and we take out the biggest factor. So 5 and 10 are both in the 5 times table. So we take 5 outside the bracket. And then we say 5 times what would make 5a? 5 times a would make 5a. And then 5 times what would make 10? And that would be a positive 2. So if we expanded this again, we get 5 times a, which is 5a, and 5 times 2, which is 10. For the second one, we've got 2b minus 12. What's the biggest factor of 2b and 12? That's 2. 2 and 12 are both in the 2 times table. 2 times what would make 2b? 2 times b would make 2b. And 2 times what makes negative 12? 2 times negative 6 makes negative 12. So if we expanded this, 2 times b makes 2b. 2 times negative 6 makes negative 12. Question 3. 20c plus 10. What can we take out of 20c and 10? They are both in the 10 times table. So we can take 10 outside the bracket. 10 times what would make 20c? Well, 10 times 2 would make 20. And then times c to get 20c. So 10 times 2c makes 20c. And 10 times what makes 10? 10 times 1 makes 10. So if we expanded this again, 10 times 2c is 20c, and 10 times 1 is 10. Now question 4, we've got 12d minus 24. We want to take out the biggest possible number. So we could take out a 2 or a 4 or a 3, but we need the biggest possible one. And the biggest times table that 12 and 24 are both in is 12. So we want to take 12 outside. 12 times what makes 12D? 12 times D is 12D. And 12 times what makes negative 24? That's negative 2. Okay, four questions for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. Question 1, 7e plus 21. 7 and 21 are both in the 7 times table. So we take 7 outside. 7 times e makes 7e. And 7 times 3 makes 21. Question 2, 9 and 6 are both in the 3 times table. So we take 3 outside. 3 times 3f makes 9f. And 3 times negative 2 makes negative 6. Question 3. 15 and 20 are both in the 5 times table. So we'll take 5 outside. 5 times 3g makes 15g. And 5 times negative 4 will make negative 20. And question 4. The biggest times table that 36 and 18 are both in, is the 18 times table. So we can take 18 outside. 18 times 2h makes 36h, and 18 times 1 makes 18. If you had taken a smaller number outside, so if you had taken 9 outside, so if you'd said 9 times 4h is 36h, and 9 times 2 is 18, you can notice that you can take a 2 out again. So if you take a 2 outside again, you double the 18, 
So 9 times 2 outside, and half the numbers inside. OK, another set of examples. This time the question says factorise fully. And what that means is there's more than one thing to take outside the brackets. So this time we're not only going to take a number outside the brackets, we're also going to take a letter or some letters outside the bracket as well. So let's look at the first one, 14j squared plus 7j. So 14 and 7 are both in the 7 times table, so we can take 7 outside. And j squared and j have both got a j in them, because j squared is j times j. So we can take a j outside the bracket. So we'll have 7j outside the bracket this time. 7j times what would make 14j squared? Well, 7 times 2 would make 14, and j times j would make j squared. And 7j times what would make 7j? That's just 1. Question 2. 12ab minus 6a. 12 and 6, the biggest times table they're both in, is the 6 times table. So we'll take 6 outside. And A, B and A have both got an A as a factor. We can take A outside as well. Let's take 6A outside. 6A times what makes 12AB? 6 times 2 makes 12. And A times B makes AB. And 6A times what makes negative 6A? That's a negative 1. Question 3. 24MN plus 16N. So the biggest times table 24 and 16 are both in is the 8 times table. So we'll take 8 outside. And we've got MN and N. So they both have N as a factor. So 8N on the outside. 8 times 3 makes 24. And n times m makes mn, and 8n times 2 will make 16n. Question 4. We've got 36v cubed w and plus 45vw. So 36 and 45 are both in the 9 times table, and v cubed w and vw have both got vw in them so we can take that out as well so 9 vw on the outside 9 times 4 makes 36 and what do we have to multiply vw by to get v cubed w so vw means v times w v cubed w means v times v times v times w so we need to multiply by another two v's, so v squared. And 9vw times what makes 45vw? That's a 5. OK, 4 for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. Question 1. So 11a squared take away 33a. 11 and 33 are both in the 11 times table, and they've both got an A in them. So 11A comes outside the brackets. 11A times A makes 11A squared, and 11A times negative 3 makes negative 33A. Question 2, 15AB minus 30B. 15 and 30 are both in the 15 times table. That's the biggest times table they're both in. And they've both got a B in them. So we'll take B outside as well. So 15B outside the brackets. 15B times what makes 15AB? That's A. And 15B times what would make negative 30B? 
That's a negative 2. Question 3. 12ABC plus 6AB. So 12 and 6 are both in the 6 times table. That's the biggest times table they're both in. And ABC and AB have both got AB in them. So we'll take that outside as well. So what do we multiply 6AB by to get 12ABC? So 6 times 2 would make 12. And AB times C is ABC. And 6AB times what makes 6AB? That's just 1. Question 4. 12P squared take away 9P. So 12 and 9 are both in the 3 times table. And P squared and P have both got P in them. 3P or 3 times 4 makes 12. And P times P makes P squared. So 3P times 4P is 12P squared. And 3P times a negative 3 will give us negative 9P. Okay, let's finish up with three questions. So pause the video and give them a go. Question one, factorise. We've got 20A plus 25. 20 and 25 are both in the five times table. So five comes outside. And five times 4A makes 20A. And five times five makes 25. Question two, factorise fully, so we know we're taking more than one thing outside the bracket. So for the numbers, 21 and 28 are in the seven times table, so seven comes out. And we've got A, B and B, which both have a B in them. So 7B is outside the brackets. 7 times 3 is 21, and B times A is A, B. 7 times 4 is 28, and we've already got the b. So 7b times negative 4 is negative 28. And question 3, we've got 18 and 21, which are both in the 3 times table. We've got a squared and a, so they've both got an a in them. b and b squared have both got a b in them, and there's a c in both as well. So we've got 3abc outside the brackets then inside so 3 times 6 would make 18 and what do we need to multiply abc by to get a squared bc that's another a and we've got 3 times 7 to make 21 and what do we multiply abc by to get ab squared c that's a b